Hello everyone, thank you for joining me for today's Heart to Home devotional. Uh, let's go ahead and open in prayer before we get started. Heavenly Father, Lord, we come before you and um, we just lift up this time to you, Lord. I pray that you open our hearts and minds, Lord, just get rid of those distractions that can come, Father, and help us to just focus on you, Lord, your word, um, and the things you've given me to share, Father. So. Uh, we just thank you for this time and it's in jesus name we pray amen all right so this morning i kind of want to share um a little bit in our last uh lesson for our ladies bible study we were going over god's ways and lo and behold because there are no coincidences i um, had a situation that related perfectly in the perfect time um so i kind of wanted to share that with you so, um, in the lesson on God's ways, you know, we learned um, His ways are perfect, that um, He directs our ways. And so, before we got to um, our lesson the weekend prior, we had our ladies' fellowship walk. And so, I have a short story about that, but before we do that, I want to read you some scriptures. It's found in Psalm 119. And it's starting in verse 1. It says, Blessed are the undefiled in the way who walk in the law of the Lord. Blessed are those who keep his testimonies, who seek him with the whole heart. They also do no iniquity. They walk in his ways. You have commanded us to keep your precepts diligently. Oh, that my ways were directed to keep your statutes. Then I would not be ashamed when I look into all your commandments. I will praise you with uprightness of heart when I learn your righteous judgments. I will keep your statutes. Oh, do not forsake me utterly. How can a young man cleanse his way? By taking heed according to your word. With my whole heart I have sought you. Oh, let me not wander from your commandments. Your word I have hidden in my heart that I might not sin against you. Blessed are you, O Lord. Teach me your statutes. With my lips I have declared all the judgments of your mouth. I have rejoiced in the way of your testimonies. As much as in all riches, I will meditate on your precepts and contemplate your ways. I will delight myself in your statutes. I will not forget your word. And so as you see, um, God's ways guide us, right? And so going back to my ladies fellowship walk story. So Brandon had taken me on a hike to across up above the Ramona Bowl. And so he was taken there a couple months ago. And so when he took me, he did it all by memory. So when I went with him, I had a little um, like GPS tracker thing. And so I started it so that I would know the route when I took the ladies for our walk. And so our ladies walk comes and I start leading with just a few of us. And we start going and I'm looking and I'm like, okay, that looks familiar. We're on the right track, you know. I got this, I know where I'm going. And we went a little further and kind of started going down this really steep <laughs> ravine area. And I'm thinking, okay, we did not do this on the walk that I did with Brandon. And so I had to turn around, tell the ladies, I'm so sorry. We got to turn around. We're not going the right way. And so um, Brandon and a few guys actually were going on that same hike just a little later. And so they were already at the top of the hill. And so I called him, I said, I kind of got us lost. And so short, long story short, he ended up helping us get to the top of the hill. And so when I went to work on my lesson for the lady study about God's ways, I thought of that situation and it's like, okay, had I just looked at my map that I had, that showed me the direction of how to get to the top of that hill where that cross was, I wouldn't have gotten us lost and off the beaten path. However, I thought I could do it on my own and from memory, and it didn't work. And it was just a good lesson um, that, you know, the Lord has 
given us instructions. He's given us his word to guide us. And his ways are perfect. We're told that. And um, But we try and do things on our own. Um, so my reminder for us today is just, um, you know, we have the ultimate GPS. And that's God's word. And so if we just stick with it and follow it instead of trying to do it on our own, we're going to get uh, to that end point, you know, that we're our goal, you know, and that's to be with the Lord in heaven for all eternity. And so I want to close with this verse. It's Psalm 119, verse 105. And it says, Your word is a lamp to my feet and a light to my path. His word guides us and will show us the way that we need to go. Let's close in prayer. Heavenly Father, Lord, as we close today, Lord, I just thank you, Lord, that you have given us um, the map to, to life, Lord, while we're here. And so, Father, I just pray that when we find ourselves trying to do things on our own, that we remember your word and who you are and that we seek your wisdom and your guidance, Lord. So we thank you, Lord. We praise you. And it's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen.